Hello my friends, Samarill is here to play a new game which is called Rakuen. It is not an action adventure kind of game, I heard it's more similar to To the Moon, but it was highly recommended to me, so let's go ahead and get started. I am going to attempt to use an Xbox controller. We'll see how that goes. Okay, it is a hospital setting. I remember that. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Who's there? Xbox controller is gonna work. Let's see. Okay. Hello. Hey. How'd you get in here? Your door's unlocked, man. <laughs> oh. Who are you? I'm Yami. I live across the hall. Did you just move in or something? No, I think I got here around the same time as you but they never let me out of my room. Oh, I'm sorry. Eh, it's okay. I sneak out at night when the nurses aren't watching. <laughs> promise you won't tell anyone I'm here, okay? I promise. So, how long are you in here for? Um, I don't know. Mom says it could be a while. Same here. It gets really boring sometimes. I know what you mean. Ugh, someone's coming. Sorry, man. I gotta go. Hey, wait. Yeah? Maybe I could visit you sometime. It's not as boring when there's two. You won't be able to get into my room. I'm not even supposed to leave, remember? Oh, yeah. But don't worry. I'll come visit you again. I promise. Hmm. Yami? Where'd you go? Okay, well, controller is not officially uh, supported for Rakuen, so excuse me as I figure it out. Okay, um. Okay, yeah, I can still use a joystick fine. Oh, that's the phone, okay. A house plant that looks like it could use some water. All right, an ivy bag filled with a saline solution. Patient two thirty-seven. Oh wow, that is a lot of medical stuff. Treatment guide. Oh, there's. I wanted to see what my treatment guide was. An origami hat. I am wearing one also. Yes, let's open a cabinet. Cabinet is empty. Can I go in the- oh, that kind of spooked me there. Door's locked. There's a sign on the door. Read it, yes. Storage area 5B. Patients not allowed beyond this point. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I will pick you up, phone. Hello? Hello, dear. It's Mom. Mom! Just wanted to let you know that my train was delayed, so I'm going to be a bit late. Oh. Okay. I'm so sorry, dear. I'm going as fast as I can. It's okay, Mom. I understand. But I'm off work this week, and I dropped off your little brother at Grandma's. So we'll be able to spend lots of time together. We can play games, I'll read to you, it'll be like our own little party. Thanks, Mom. I love you. I love you, too. Okay, so Mom's coming. Oh, it's bright. Okay, it's not spooky anymore. That's nice. <laughs> Well, well, I see you're wide awake and walking around. No one told me I couldn't walk around. <laughs> okay, wise guy, I've got a couple things to tell you. First of all, some good news. Your tests have come back and it turns out things are looking pretty good. In fact, I think it might be okay for you to walk around the halls a bit today. You mean, I get to leave my room? Indeed. Oh, he's been stuck in here this whole time. Yes! <laughs> Not so fast. There's something else I need to talk to you about. 
This morning, the cafeteria reported that a lot of food and drink was stolen from the kitchen. Since the wing was all locked up last night, we believe the thief might still be in the building somewhere. So, can you take a moment to just check and see if any of your belongings were stolen? Okay. Well, we already looked at everything. It's just my... What? Oh no! It's gone! Doctor, they took it! They took Rakuen! What did they take? Rakuen! It's my favorite book in the whole world! My mom reads it to me every night. It's very special. Are you completely sure you didn't just misplace it? I'm sure. After mom finishes reading, she always puts it back in the same place. It's our tradition. Okay, calm down. What did your book look like? Hmm. It has a brown cover. It looks very old. And there is a clasp made of silver with a hole for a key. Silver clasp, eh? I guess that explains why they take a children's storybook. Well, I'm really sorry to hear about this. I can only imagine how important it must have been to you. I want you to know that we'll be doing all we can to track down the thief. Mom's gonna be so sad. Hmm. You know what? What? Since you're allowed to leave your room today, why don't you go talk to some of the folks around the floor? Who knows? Maybe someone will be able to get, help you get your book back. Take care now. I'll be back to check on you in a bit. Hmm. Oh, it's the bathroom. <laughs> Fill the sink with water? Why not? Can I... Oh. Oh, I guess it just fills now. Okay. <laughs> Got a mirror, got ourselves a toilet. Okay, let's uh, let's turn off the light here. <laughs> uh, boys room, okay, I don't have a name apparently. Hospital scale. Oh, okay. <laughs> I just... Picked up money from a locker. How's your detective work coming along? Find any good leads? No, no good leads. I chart. In the left corner of the chart, you can make out some writing. Sure. Okay, that's not spooky. Oh, just a tree. Semi functional vending machine. Why is it semi functional? Uh, oh, hot coffee is restocking soon. Peanut choo choos. I don't have any money. I don't want to buy anything. I have no money. <laughs> Hello, sir. Now, where did I put that key? I must have dropped it somewhere. Uh, <laughs> that's not good. Okay, the door's rusted. Okay. Well, there's just beds like out in the middle of the nowhere. <laughs> door's locked. Okay, can't go in there. Paper flyer. Read it. Tell Cape Heroes, a group of fun-loving volunteers and patients working together to make the hospital a better place for everyone. Patient survey. Oh, did you call me? Yeah. Apparently the toilet in Sue's room is broken now. Can you do anything about it? I'm a nurse, not a plumber. I don't even know how to fix a toilet. Well, someone has to do it. You know, we're short-staffed. Fine, I'll go see if I can dig up some supplies. Okay, Sue's room's toilet has a problem. Kisaburo's room? Door's locked, okay. What's this? That doesn't look safe. Appears that there's a tunnel running through here that has been blocked off. Perhaps you could get through if you have the right tools. Yeah, if I had like a chainsaw. <laughs> This cabinet soup ladle that is caked with mud is laying on top of old medical forms. It looks like there's something beneath the handle. Sure. Okay, found some more money. I'm just stealing from people. Thermometer. 
Based on the results of Kusaburo's brain scan, we believe the met metastasis to be the cause for his delirium. It is my recommendation to begin administering antipsychotic medication. Please refer to the list of hallucinations and delusions. Oh, yikes. Page 2 is torn. 1021 was found climbing ladder in construction zone 5B. When questioned, replied that he intended to make a hole in the ceiling. 1028 was found in the yard digging in the mud. Completely unresponsive when questioned. Appeared to be unaware of location time. 11-2, carrying bags of... Is that a flower? I haven't seen you in a long time. It's good to see you walking around again. So there's apparently some incident with my character. It's interesting. You need something? What's up? It seems these days it's getting harder and harder to find the words. Either that or people just aren't listening. But, you know, if it's my time to leave this world, then I'm ready to go. I just want to make sure I say the things I need to say before it's too late. Did you hear about the thief? I've been telling the nurses for a long time that someone has been sneaking around here after hours. I heard they were ta stealing food from the cafeteria kitchen. Which means they obviously have some way of getting into parts of the hospital that we patients don't have access to. What, were they crawling through the vents? You'd have to be pretty small to fit through there. But no one around here listens to me anyway. They all seem to think that I've lost my mind. Hmm, he seems pretty articulate to me. Tell me about the folks here. I'm not one for gossip. Okay. <laughs> no gossiping. Uh, where are the controls? Oh, okay, this is the menu. Um, item, I have no items. Journal? I know who's still your book. Okay. Uh, I can't go in the bathroom, so that's Kisaburo. Ooh, can I buy, um, peanut choo-choos now? Hell yeah. What does she have to say? What, what's in front of her? Can I read it? Hospital admittance forms A through F. Hey! Don't touch that! Can you see I'm working here? Oops. Ugh, quit bugging me, kid. I've got a lot to do right now. What do you want to do? Okay. Wait, you're giving this to me? Wow, thank you. I haven't eaten anything all day. I guess they won't mind if I go take a short break. Oh. Well? Okay. Can I snoop around here? Oh, it's the same. I can't. It's the same thing. Can I? Nope, not the phone. What's your read? Upper shelf. An assortment of books and pamphlets line the shelves. A new super clipping is sticking out from between two of the books. Read it? Sure. 19 March. J junior? January? Already strapped for resources, hospitals are unable to accommodate new patients. Oh. Okay. Middle shelf. Several years worth of medical journals. Okay. Lower cabinet. Folders filled with medical forms. Laminated card is clipped to the back of one of the folders. Read the card? Sure. Closet 5C. Passcode 1721. That seems important. Oh, that's it? Okay. 1721, eh? I have to keep that in mind for closet 5C. Gamma and Sue's room. Hello? Toilet in there is broken. Some metal thing is stuck inside. If you have to go, you should probably find a different bathroom. Can I go in anyway? Oh! Hey! What are you doing? I, um... This is a girl's room, you know. But, if you really gotta use the bathroom, come talk to me. Okay. <laughs> I guess that's true. How are you doing today? What's up? My wife's been asleep for months now. But I still talk with her every day, and sometimes I read to her. Did you hear about the thief? Have you noticed that some of the doors around here have electronic passcode devices? I've been told that those areas have long been closed off, even to the staff. But recently, I noticed that one of the devices had been turned on. Okay, some of the folks here. Who would you like to learn about? Oh, he's a gossip. Sue. On occasion, I've had to take Sue back to her room. She has a habit of walking around aimlessly on certain nights. Uh, Tony. I believe Tony hasn't talked with his family in a long while. 
It makes me sad to think that families can be torn apart just because people don't see eye to eye on something. Cora. I heard that Cora and her friends have been working on a special project to boost morale around the hospital. Last I heard, they were calling themselves the Tawoke Piros. Okay, so that's the, the flyer that we saw. Can I, can I talk to you? No? Can I rifle through your things? Cabinet's empty. <laughs> Blood samples, thermometer... 38. Uh, I had a coma. as a breathing session. Hmm. I was playing the case in water. Wow, so many different marbles! Yeah, I've been collecting for a long time. Oh. So you want to use our bathroom, eh? Well... I guess? <laughs> yeah, I get it. We all gotta go sometimes. But I can't let just anyone use our bathroom. It is a girl's room, you know? Gosh, it looks like you really gotta go, though. Hmm... Well, how about this? See that jar next to me? The marbles. Yep. That's my marble collection. I'm missing some, though. I was carrying a bunch of them around in my pocket, and I'm pretty sure some fell out. If you could find me just one, I'd let you use our bathroom whenever you want. Do you think you could do that for me? I'll try my best. Thank you. The last place I was playing was with Danielle in the cafeteria, so you might want to check around there. Okay. Danielle in the cafeteria, huh? Well, let's finish our, our guest walkthrough. Guest walkthrough? Patient walkthrough? Let's do that first. Hello, small child! What brings you to my blood draw station? Interested in learning about the circulatory system? Platelets? Perpetual motion machines? <clears throat> uh, what can I help you with? <laughs> What's up? Sometimes I like to contemplate things like, uh, why are there only two egg-laying mammals in the world? I'm sure many species could benefit from laying eggs. Two egg-laying animals. Mammals. So it's platypus and... What's the other one? What is the other one? I don't know. <laughs> but so far, only the platypus and... Oh, he just answered it. E echidna? Echidna families have hopped on that bandwagon. Why, if I could lay eggs, I'd be laying eggs all the time. Uh... <laughs> what can I help you with? Cheer about the thief. Come here. I'll let you in on a little secret. Have you noticed anything strange about this hospital? Mmm... Not really. A while back, I started noticing cryptic little messages written all over the place. Yeah! Like that message that was in green in the top left. And last night, I saw someone go into that closet south of Tony's room, but... I was told that closet has been locked since before I started working here. I'm pretty sure they were not staff. Hmm, what do they look like? I only saw them out of the corner of my eye and for about a second, so unfortunately I could not say. Hmm. Pinky? Children love Chef Pinky. If you notice that someone is having a bad day, he'll give them some ice cream. Ah, ice cream. Using the scientific secret of salt to lower the freezing point of salt of ice in order to freeze the cream. Genius. <laughs> I made ice cream once in a science class. Kisaburo. I knew Kisaburo back before his mind started going. Uh, we spoke often. It's sad to see someone's mental condition deteriorate like that. What do you mean? Well, for example, recently the staff found him outside digging in the mud again. He was on his hands and knees making piles of mud using spoons he got from the kitchen. Oh man. But hey, maybe he knows something that we don't. Maybe he was looking for buried a treasure. Uh, <laughs> Danielle. Danielle is the purple haired girl who hangs out in the cafeteria. She sews the most marvelous plushies for the patients here. Okay, see you later. Can I snoop around in your blood draw station? Oh, I just <laughs> went through the curtain. Okay. Mm, the pink cat. Cats are allowed to be pink. Hey there. What's up? Hey, I don't think we formally met. I'm Cora. It's probably pretty easy to remember me because I'm the only girl in my grave with a pink mohawk. Whoa, cool. And don't worry, my mom knows. She's the one who let me do it. Anyway, it was nice meeting ya. 
Nice meeting you too, Cora. Oh, hey, some friends and I are working something, working together to do something special for the people on our floor here in the hospital. Like what? I'll have more details later, but if you find anything cool you'd like to donate, come talk to me. Okay. I know a lot of folks feel powerless when they have to stay here. But here's the way I see it. No one knows how much time they have in this world. My time could be up in 80 years. Or 8 minutes. Hmm. Point is, I'm going to do everything I can to make good use of my time. Time's precious, you know? If I could just help one person here to feel happier, then it'd be all be worth it. Hmm. What's up? Sometimes I like to look for a spirit change around the hospital. You'd be surprised how much is just lying around in cabinets and drawers. Girl, do I know. Should I hear about the thief? Dude, yeah. Chef Pinky came out here earlier and he was not happy. I guess the thief took a lot of food from this cafeteria kitchen. How the heck did they get into the kitchen? You can't even get there from the cafeteria. Believe me, I've tried. Oh, I didn't mean to press that. Oh, we're getting a new painting. How do you like my cat? I gave her pink fur. <laughs> oh, I didn't realize they would say different things on WhatsApp. Oh, well. Tell me about folks here. Tony! Just between you and me, I think Tony's hiding something. He acts so grumpy all the time, but he's got this pretty little music box in his room that he guards with his life. Why would a grumpy old dude like that have a sweet little music box? Hmm, Sue. Sue's a sweetheart, but she's obsessed. Obsessed? Yeah, I guess she had to move to the hospital before saying goodbye to her friend. And that's pretty much all she talks about right now. She talks about her marbles. Jackie's that guy over at the blood draw station. He's cool. A little weird, uh, but cool. <laughs> if you ever need to know anything about technical, he's the guy to ask. Okay, that's... Okay. Where's... Cabinet. Cabinet's empty. No loose change there. More money. Well, door is locked. Look at the sign. Keep out. Only authorized personnel led behind this point. Look at the doorknob. Pa electronic device with a passcode entry. Leave a clock past the. Ooh, that must be the 1721 passcode. However, it doesn't appear to be turned on. Oh, dang. Okay. Can I look at anything else? Tony's room. Door's locked. Hello? Are you Tony? Look about airplanes. What the heck do you think you're doing in my room, kid? Get out! Figures. When I want visitors, no one shows up. And when I need peace and quiet, every idiot in the world has to come into my room. Where's that nurse with that coffee? Okay. Broken music box. Hey, if you touch that music box, I'll break your hands. Okay. Dream my guide. Blood samples. There's no point in talking to Tony before he's had his coffee. Ugh, he'll just growl at you like a big angry bear. I heard that, you little brat. See what I mean? Okay, so Tony wants coffee. Unfortunately, it seems like the coffee machine is uh, out. Can I talk to these people? I heard you had a pretty tough day today. You hang in there, all right? You're doing great. Can I talk to this person? Hello? Hello? Oh, they're so far away. All right, well, we pretty much explored everything here, um, and I think it's a good time to stop for now, actually, before we head into... is this cafeteria? Yeah, cafeteria. So, thank you for watching. This has been Samuelis playing Rakuen. Uh, I hope you'll join me next time when I look at the cafeteria, and I hope you have a great day, and that you remember to be kind to yourself and to others. Goodbye!